This car has been leaking so much. I thought it was an oil pan gasket at first. I think it's something more than an oil pan gasket. But today we're gonna replace all the seals. The first thing I did, I went to my dad's shop to get this thing on the lift. As you can see, it's been leaking all over the place. Because the transmission in the oil pan was so wet, I decided to just remove the trans and replace the rear main seal. I believe that was the main thing that was leaking. The last time I took out a trans was when I had the 9th Gen SI, but that's been over four years ago. All we did was remove the fluids such as the oil, the coolant, and then we started working on the trans to get it removed. But after, I would say, three hours later, we were able to get the trans out. The the trans was literally covered in so much oil we just had to spray it with brake cleaner. But once the trans was fixed we were able to get access to the rear main seal. We had to remove the clutch first but that was no big problem. Then once we were able to get that thing off it was time to replace that old seal. Went another extra mile and I ordered some axle seals just to make sure that this thing doesn't leak any more oil. It was oil. pretty easy to install the rear main seal and it was not a problem at all. As soon as I thought everything was going well, it didn't. My water pump was also screeching more than a Hellcat and I don't think that's a good thing. So I also replaced that too unfortunately and we slapped on the new clutch as well but we weren't able to do that until the next day. And as soon as I thought everything was going well, this project extended to a another three days because we were missing the parts that had to be special ordered from Honda. I'm kind of in a time crunch right now because I do need to get this car done. I'm about to go to a Canada trip soon and this is my only ride to the airport so I definitely need to get this done. While I was talking there was a cop behind me but uh, luckily he was pretty cool. He didn't pull me over or anything so that's a good sign. <laughs> Here we back at it again. After I came back from Honda and installed the last few seals that were needed to be on the trans, we were basically ready to go and just reattached everything we disassembled. While my dad and my uncle were doing that, I had to do my dancey dance. After everything was assembled, it was finally the time to clean up the old oil stains and the old drips and take this thing finally out for a drive. But as soon as I thought we were going to take the Civic for a drive, something bad happened. Unfortunately, one of the pulleys on the Civic was bad and I believe it was the alternator pulley. I decided to leave it for now because I have to be in the airport and the next day. I decided to take that project on when I come back from my trip. And the final thing to wrap up the Civic, we did an ignition timing on this just to make sure that it has the best performance that we can. This also will prevent any check engine light popping on my dash, so definitely don't want that. All right, so it's been one day after the Civic has been fixed with literally all the leaks that this thing has been leaking in the garage. Um, we are gonna try to pull this out in the driveway and see if there's actually leftover leaks. We did our job right. There should be no leaks on the ground. Looks like there is literally no drips on the ground. Of course, the floor is dirty. Before, there was actually a big pool of, pool of oil right here, um, but it seems like it's not leaking. Seems pretty dry for the most part. We're just gonna test out this and see if the bumper fits a little bit better. Only one of these came in, so I guess I'm just gonna install one of them. And without me bolting it on, that's why there's a gap right there. This literally fits so much better. It's not perfect by any means, but this thing fits seamlessly because if we go to the other side, look how bad the other side fits. And this is without me bolting it in. Of course, if I could hold this up right here, it would look a little bit better, but you could still see right here. I could even touch it. Um, these little 
tabs right here that holds in the bumper and it can't go any further. I tried to adjust this already. We are gonna do one more thing. We're gonna install this new grill. One of my friends low key scratched my grill by accident. Dropped the airbag on it and uh, yeah, that was that. But the only thing difference is between the new grill and the old grill is that this grill is non-removable. You can't detach the grill, unfortunately, to get it painted. Um, it's detachable if you want to, or you could add it on behind the grill. Um, just makes it a lot more easier to paint this. It's like this. This is how it looks with it just not even bolted in. Um, the holes are just slightly off a little bit, but nothing drilling can't hurt. But definitely looks better. Let me see how it looks with the hood closed. You need to adjust this hood because I think this is slightly off from this gap. Same thing as well as here, there is a bigger gap where I could put my whole finger in. From what it seems like, it does fit just slightly a little bit better. It is a aftermarket grill, so nothing's gonna fit perfect, um, but it definitely fits better than the other one. The other one doesn't fit just right. I feel like the small details always count and it makes it always better, so let me know what y'all guys think. This box right here is the turbo.